All right, you all are welcome to Ignite Augusta TV channel. So today we are going to learn how to get your domain. We'll be learning how to get your domain and hosting using Truehost. Truehost is one of the hosting platforms in the world and it's one of the best. There are others like Bluehost, um, host, um, Rollercoast and the rest of them. Okay, but I'll be teaching you using Truehost because Truehost is one of the best. I've used them and they're awesome. So for you to get the link, for you to register, um, for you to register into Truehost, for you to get your domain and your hosting. I'll, I dropped the link down the descri description section. When you use the link down the dis description section, you will get a promo discount on any hosting and domain you are obtaining from their platform. So the name of the organization is Truehost and the link to get to this website is in the description section, all right? So once you click on the link, it takes you to this page. And on this page, the first thing you have to do is to click on register. And when you click on register, you can, when you click on register, the first thing you do is to enter in your details. So I'm going to enter in my details and press Augusta, email address, phone number, All right, company's name, let's say Empress of Worcester. All right, then address, you can just put anything you want for your address. All right, so you fill in your address. All right, you fill in your address. Let me see. 23 Ikeja, um, your city, Ikeja, your state, Lagos, postal code 116, country, you select your country, then additional information, how did you find us? You click select through a friend. Provide the SMS number that just ignore this, ignore this option. Okay, sorry, provide the number that SMS notification will be sent to you. So you give them the number that you want to use in receiving SMS notification. All right, so just go ahead and fill in this information. Accept SMS. If tick, you agree to receive SMS. So if you want to be receiving SMS from Truehost, you tick it here. If tick, you agree to receive marketing SMS notification. If you want this, you tick it. All right. Well, personally, I don't want it, so I'm not ticking it. About security. Now, here is where you generate your password. All right. Here is where you generate your password. Okay. Here is where you generate your password. I don't even know what I'm typing. Let me just put this on. All right, so put in your password. You can use numbers, of capital is a small letter and any sign, okay? Okay, then join our mailing list. So it's on yes. If you don't want to receive email from them, you say no, but I advise you to leave it as yes because they do a lot of updates every week. All right. Terms and condition. I agree to their terms and condition. Then you go ahead and click on register. All right. You go ahead and click on register. They'll ask you to select all square with classical in there. So select the square just to prove that you are not a robot. Then you say next. You repeat the same thing just for you to prove you are not a robot. Then you click on verify. Okay, so the page is loading. Fantastic. We have registered our account successfully. You can see your name here and your details if you want to edit. So the next thing to do is to get your domain. Okay, so we need to search or your domain. This is literally your dashboard. So when you scroll down, you see where they say register a new domain. Okay, so we need to search for our domain. 
So let's say I want to register. So your domain is usually, if you're building a personal website or a personal brand, you can say your name at .com. For example, empressaugusta.com. I already have an, a website, a domain that is eminentaugusta.com because my name is eminentaugusta. So or your business name.com. If the .com is not available, you can search for what is available. All right, so let's try Empress Augusta. And let's see. Click on register. So we are searching if our domain, we are trying to get a domain. Okay, that's all we are doing. So voila, wow, it's available, I'm lucky. And it said it's 7,000 Naira. And this 7,000 Naira is a one-time payment, all right? That's in Naira. In dollar, that should be around, um, in dollar, that should be around, let's say, that should be around almost 10 dollar, all right? So the next thing is what? You do what? You add to cuts. So click on add to cart. Okay, so once you click on add to cart, you go to category in order for you to choose your domain. So once you've added your domain that is available to cart, if it's not available, tell you it's not available, and they'll give you different options of what is available. So you can now do what? You can now go ahead and choose. You can decide to do .com, .africa, .net, .shop. So if you're, the one that you choose is not available, they give you different options and varieties you choose. And once you choose, you now add to cart. So after adding to cart, the next thing you have to do is to go to categories. Now this is category. You go to categories, then you click on web hosting. Now, if you already have a domain, then instead of you, so on that search button of you saying register, all you need to do is to do what? Import your domain, bringing your domain into this platform then you can now proceed to web hosting, all right? So, so you now we are, this is web hosting. These are different web hosting option, okay? Is that you go for the silver hosting, which is 750 Naira per month in dollar, that should be around, um, that should be around, that should be around one dollar, thereabout. Okay, so you can see it's very cheap. So if you know that you're just starting, you can go for the silver hosting. So, but you're not paying per month, you're going to pay per year. So you multiply 750 per year. Okay, so you can go for the seven one dollar per year, sorry, per month, which is four dollars in a year. That's ridiculously cheap. If you're using the link down the description section, is a promo link. Or you can decide to go now, they, um, true hosting silver. These are the categories, all right? These are the officials, 30 GB dicks, um space, free.com.ng domain, unlimited bandwidth transfer, unlimited email accounts, maximum domain hosted three, less and uh, free less and free SSL certificates, unlimited FTP. So you can start with this, but if you know that the, um, the traffic that you're going to, that you that you need for your website needs more um big space and more bandwidth then you go for 50 um gig 50 gb big space or there are bigger ones based on either you're building a website for yourself or you're building for an organization depending on the kind of traffic you're expecting in that website so this is um platinum hosting this is unlimited, okay? So for a starter, I would advise you, since you're a starter, you're doing it for yourself and you want to try, okay? Before you start waiting for plans, so I want you to go for this. So now, since we are going for this, I'm going to click on order now, all right? So you click on order now. Once you click on order now, they say use a domain already in my shopping cart. Remember this is the domain I selected and I added to my shopping cart. But if you already have a domain, all you need to do is to select and transfer your domain from another registrar. Okay, so that's a different protocol and the customer care using the WhatsApp number can direct you. So this is the domain we created. 
All right. So it's, it has really selected it automatically because it was, we added to cart. So the next thing to do. Okay. So the next thing to do is to click on use. So it's verifying my domain selection. Okay, so it has verified and you can see other summary, true host, silver hosting, web hosting, true host, silver hosting. Okay, so this is my other summary, which is 750 um, per month. So we we'll click on continue. So now that we clicked on continue, it says domain configuration, please review your domain name selection and any add-ons that are available for them. Okay, so we are paying for 12 months, which is one year. Okay, so that is it. It has already been, it has already been checked. Regist domain name, registration period, one year. Hosting, already has a hosting. They've already attached it to my hosting. That's what it means. Then available add add-on. Okay, so we are to select available add-on. This is like a additional extension that we need. So we are going to select. So um, select email forwarding. Click on that box. Then DNS management. Click on that box. So do not click on ID protection, just leave it, okay? Because naturally, um, um, using the link, you're going to get a free SSL. It's one of the properties that was given to you, okay? So once you've ticked the DNS management and you've ticked email forwarding, the next thing you do is to click on continue. Okay, so we are almost there, complete your order. So this is the new registration for one year. That's what we are paying for. All right, so this is the order summary. So for one year, that's um, $70, that's 7,000. These are what we are getting, validation and all whatnot. Okay, so this is just like um, the order summary. So all we need to do right now is to click on check out now. So once you click on check out now, you are to fill in your payment details. Okay. So you have to fill in your, um, your payment details. So you choose if you want a Visa card or a MasterCard or a bank deposit or PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard, debit and credit card, or pay stack. You choose the one you want. So personally, if you want bank deposit, you choose bank deposit. If you want to pay with PayPal, you choose. If you want a Visa and MasterCard, debit or credit card, yeah, pay stack, you choose. If you want, if you want Visa, MasterCard, credit card, you choose. Okay, so personally, as a Nigerian, let me choose pay stack. All right. If you want bank deposit, meaning they'll give you the account to bank deposit, but that's a long process. If you have your card, in fact, if you're in Nigeria, just choose pay stuff so that you can, you can pay with card. Bank deposit means they'll give you the account because you go to the bank and pay. Okay, so let's do this. So you click on, I have read the, I have read and agreed to terms and condition. So once you check this box, you click on complete order. So this is the receipts they've generated. Receipts invoice 1306. So this is my invoice on paid. So this is the summary of what we are paying for. This is what the summary of what we are paying for. So you can print this receipt or you can download it if you want. Then the next thing you need to do is what? You need to click on pay now. Remember, I chose credit and debit card using pay stack. So click on pay now. So once you click on pay now, it gives you the information for you to carry out your payments. If you're not a Nigerian, all right, more especially if you're not an African, if you're an African, if you're from any African country, use debit card, 
credit card pay stack option. You can, it will allow you to make payments. But if you are outside Africa, you can use debit card, credit card payment option, the first one that doesn't have pay stack, okay? So if you want to use card payments, this is card payments. You can see total of what we are paying is 7,750. All right. Then um, if you want bank transfer, if you want bank, you, you select the bank. They have two banks here. You select the bank and you go and pay in the bank. If you want transfer, that's mobile app transfer. This is what you transfer to. And you are not to close this page if you are making a mobile app transfer. Do your transfer, and when you're done, you come here and click, I have sent the money, and allow it to load. Make sure your internet is great. Allow it to load until it tells you successful. All right? If you're doing using a card payment, just follow the protocol, and to take you through what to do and how to pay, and to be successful. If you're using bank, you want to go to the bank and, and deposit, then your receipt, you come back and send it to them through email. So once, whichever option you are using, once you're done, you're going to receive an email, okay? You're going to receive an email that your payment has been received successfully. So they are processing. So the process, processing your payment takes within 24 to 72 hours or maximum five working days. So you receive an email, then you continue from there. Remember the WhatsApp icon at the beginning of the page is where you have your customer care service, where you can chat with them on WhatsApp. So hope this was helpful. If it was like this, video, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notification for amazing content that will be coming up on this channel just for you. I remain my humble self in the of water. See you in our next video.